together. If you look at the orcs, the idea of there is, is that no two of those guys ever look the same. They're supposed to be this like, ragtag, mad bunch of crazy creatures that, um, that, you know, there's no uniformity to the way they look. I think we had 200 di different individual model components that we um, created from that reference. So we've got this library of, of model components that um, can be assembled by by massive by the component of massive we call orc builder, which will then um, draw on these individual components and maybe scale them and um, and even um, vary them further. The massive engine itself generates the random numbers. The renderer picks up all those numbers and builds the guys, and we can apply variation to individual bones. So you can see here that the legs are getting longer. Um, but the body and torso and arms are all staying the same size. Similarly with arm length, we can actually build agents that have you know, quite non-human proportions. We can apply variation to the type of armor that they're using. You can see the slider here controls um, a variety of, of aprons that the, that the agent's wearing. We've got other options for rigid armor pieces that can be used in there as well. We also have various heads that might be topologically equivalent so that we can morph between them. So if this is if this is head A and this one is head B, then we generate a random number and we get a head that's somewhere in between them. So that no two agents theoretically have the same face. All the characters that were in the prologue are set up in a very similar way, but we've added uh, expressions which allow us to have uh, variants on the creatures, uh, or on the characters in this case, like the orcs. We had 10 or 20 different helmets, different armor, things like that, that allow us to make as many characters as we want by just varying the different armor, the different heads, the different body size, uh, um, how fat they are, how thin they are, how tall they are. With a very simple setup, we're allowed to make as many characters as we want and uh, spread it out to cover all of Middle-earth.